Welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. Let's get right into your reading for today, guys, and see what's going on here between you and your person. As always, this is a general reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through today will apply to everyone watching. So please just take in from this reading what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. I'm working my way back to you. Your person is on their way back. They may be taking baby steps. They may back up a few steps, but they are coming. They are coming back. They are getting to the place where they are ready to reunite with you. There's an energy to this card, guys. And the energy that comes off this card, your person has this feeling of excitement within them. And they want to tell you everything that they've been through during this time that you've been apart from one another and how they've grown and how they've changed and how they've become a better person. They also want to share with you the insights that they've seen about themselves, what they've needed to work on, what they have worked on, and how they realize and understand that the way they handled things in this connection with you the first time around, or the time you were together last, because maybe some of you have been with this person off and on more than once here. But they're telling you they are working their way back to you. They're coming. They're making a plan. They're getting ready for reunion with you. Okay, guys? They're getting ready for reunion with you. I listen to your old voicemails. Read your old texts. This, they've saved those texts. They've saved those voicemails. And they do listen to them. And they do read your text. Not only that, they also look at your pictures that they've got of the two of you together, or perhaps just you. But I also feel they may be looking at your social media to see what's going on with you, to see if you have perhaps moved on, or if it's been a long time since the two of you have been around one another. Perhaps they look at your social media to see how you've changed, to see if you look different. And every time they do this, it fills them with comfort because hearing your voice gives them this shot of your energy. They feel your essence around you when they hear your voice, even through a voicemail message. It fills them with this sense of peace, but also this sense of longing because your person misses you. They are coming back. They're making their way back to you. My mind is obsessed with thoughts of you. They are thinking about you all the time, guys. They must be thinking about you 24-7. This person is getting excited here about creating this reunion with you. They think about you a lot. They think about you during the day. They think about you at night. They think about you before they go to sleep. They think about you when they're at work, when they're at the gym, when they're doing whatever it is that they do in their daily life. And once they have something that triggers a thought of you or triggers a memory of you, they just let it kind of like roll, roll, roll down the hill and become like this giant snowball and they just go with it. And you know what? They, they like it. They like being obsessed with thoughts of you because it makes them feel close to you. It makes them feel that you are right there with them. Which also tells us that they are getting ready to reach out. They're thinking about you a lot. And when their mind is in this place of being filled with, a, with obsessive thoughts of you, you're probably feeling those thoughts as well. Or all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're getting a rush of these thoughts about your person. You were doing something else and focused on something else completely. And then just out of the blue, boom, here comes a flood of thoughts from your person and you start thinking about them as well. Has this happened to you? You guys share a telepathic connection to one another. So if your person's thinking about you a lot and those thoughts are becoming obsessive, you're going to think about them as well. There's no way around it. So if you find yourself thinking a lot about your person and you're perhaps trying not to think about them, it's because they're thinking about you. So when you feel those thoughts kind of like bubble up, just kind of go with them and identify if it's coming from you or if it's coming from your person. That might give you a better sense of peace because if you know these thoughts are coming from your person, that's going to allow you to have the validation that you're looking for 
that your person is getting ready to make communication, they're getting ready to initiate contact with you, which means they're getting ready to start bringing this connection back together. I daydream about our future. Wow, okay guys, your person is really thinking about you a lot. They listen to your old voicemails, they read your texts, they think about you all the time, and they're daydreaming about your future. And they envision a future with you. You are in their vision of what their future looks like. They think about where you would live, what your house would look like, what kind of cars you would have, where you'd go for holidays, what you would do for weekend fun, what you would do for weekend getaways. They think about what your lives would look like if you are together. And in a way, that's kind of a way of manifesting if you think about it. I'm projecting what I want my life to look like in the future. So your person is actually trying to manifest this future with you because they are coming back and they are working their way back to you. You're the first thing I think about when I wake up. Okay, okie dokie guys, your person is really, they really have you on their mind. They really have you on their mind. And perhaps first thing in the morning, they get up, they make some coffee, whatever their morning routine is, and they sit and think about you. But I do feel for some of them, they actually jolt awake with thoughts of you because they've been dreaming about you. Or they slowly wake up and allow their mind to wander to that place where they have memories of you. And think about the early morning hours that the two of you would share with one another when you were together in the quiet morning that they're thinking about you, they're obsessed about you, they're daydreaming about your future. There's a pattern here, guys. Your person is getting ready to break this no contact here that's happening between the two of you and reach out to you so that you guys can start talking and start making a plan to spend some time together. Let's see what else we get here for the collective, please. What does the collective want to reveal for this love reading today? I didn't want to fall in love, but I couldn't help it. Yeah, they couldn't help but fall in love with you. And I do feel that for them, for your person, it was very much a love at first sight. They weren't expecting to meet someone like you. They didn't think that love like this, that the two of you have, existed. They thought that was just something that was in movies or television shows or Hallmark, whatever. But they feel this deep love for you and they can't help feeling this deep love for you because you are part of them. This love that the two of you have, it's endless. There is no beginning and there is no end because your love is endless. Your love is an eternal love. There's a really deep connection here between you guys and your person is becoming more and more aware of that all the time and I do feel when your person saw you for the first time it took their breath away they weren't expecting to meet someone like you they weren't expecting that someone like you would want to be with them and they had guarded their heart for so long they didn't want to get hurt perhaps they were hurt before regardless they just didn't want to get hurt by love and they did not plan to fall in love but they couldn't help it because they couldn't stop themselves from falling in love with you. Very much love at first sight. Felt like being hit like a lightning bolt or feeling like time stood still. Whatever your person's experience was in that moment when they first saw you, they really did feel and experience something, guys. There's no way around it. Your person felt something the very first time they saw you. What else does the collective want to reveal about this love reading, please? What else is going on here in this connection? I need a hug from you so badly. Your person does need a hug. They want to spend time with you. They want to see you in 3D. They may daydream about your future. They may dream about you at night in 5D, but they want a hug from you. There's something about the way that they, that you hug them that makes them feel safe. It makes them feel comfortable. It makes them feel loved. It makes them feel, it feels like their home. Because you know what? You are their home. 
And home is where the heart is. And your heart is their home. Your person is really on the verge here, guys, of reaching out to you. This energy in this reading is just so very strong and so very powerful. I'm aware our connection is more than physical. Your person is growing. They know that it's not just a physical connection here between the two of you. They know that it's spiritual. They know that it is emotional as well. They do have a deep love for you. And if they hid that love from you or guarded that love from you, they're going to be more expressive of that love for you. There's an awareness in your person that something really strong and powerful is happening here in this connection with you, but also happening within their own life because they're working their way back to you. This means that they're working through and resolving whatever issues they had before when you were together that they hadn't resolved that were causing your problems that allowed them to create this disconnect between the two of you. They're working through all of this stuff. They are going to start taking action here to bridge this gap that's between you, to get this connection moving forward and allow you two to start coming back together to prepare for union. But your person is aware. They know that there is something here that they have never felt or experienced before not with anyone, and they know that they'll never experience again. They know that this connection is something that is unique and special to the two of you, and they know that this is the connection they want to have with you, and they want to fix whatever this stuff is that created the disconnect between you so that the two of you can come together into union again, breakthrough, your person has had a breakthrough. They're able to see things a lot more clearly. Because we started this reading with such a powerful punch here. I'm, I'm working my way back to you. Your person is coming back. They're able to see the forest through the trees. They've had epiphanies. They can see what is real. And they are aware that your connection is more than physical. They know that it is a soul deep love that's here between you. They realize this. They know this. And you know what? They don't want to lose it either. So they're going to start putting forth the energy and the effort to start bringing this connection back together. Awareness. Your person has become aware. That is for sure. And this awareness is revealing to them more insight about themselves so that they know what they need to work on within themselves to give this connection staying power, to give this connection a strong foundation, to give it stability. Your person's also aware that they need to be more loving with you, more expressive, sharing their emotions with you, giving to you, keeping balance in the connection where you're each giving and receiving equally to one another. But there's also an awareness from your person that they know that you're the one. They know you're the one for them. They're already daydreaming about your future, a future with you. And they're thinking about you all the time. Okay, guys? So they are working their way back to you because they are aware that you are special and you are the one for them. Soul connection. See, our connection is more than physical. They know it's a soul connection. They know that this is something that goes beyond this lifetime. They know that the two of you have been together before. That's why you felt so familiar to them the first time you met one another. Yes, it may have felt like love at first sight, but it was something truly beyond that. It was the recognition of your souls. Your person may call it something else. They may call it love at first sight. They may call it that cosmic force. They may call it that I was struck by lightning, whatever that experience was for them. But there is an awareness within them now that there is a deep soul connection between the two of you. And they are really trying to understand that more and more. Empathy. Your person knows that you have a strong empathy with each other. They know that you can feel it when they are feeling down, when they're feeling bad, when they're feeling blue, when they're happy, when they're sad, when they're excited, and vice versa. I do not know why that card is spinning around. It's really unusual. <laughs> 
I've never seen that happen before. Okay, I think I've got it now. But you two share empathy because there is this strong soul connection here. You feel each other. You hear each other's thoughts. Yes, that's telepathy, but you still hear each other's thoughts. You can feel what is happening with your person. If all of a sudden you feel sad and you don't know why you're feeling sad because there's no reason why you should feel sad. You woke up in a great mood. You've had a great day. You've got good news. Perhaps you won the lottery, so there's no reason for you to be sad. But then all of a sudden out of nowhere, you have this sense of like sadness, depression, anxiety, whatever the emotion is that you're feeling. That's because it's coming from your person. That is the empathy that exists between you. And it's really strong and powerful in your connection, guys. If one of you has a headache, the other one will have it too. It's just the way the empathy works in this connection, reflection. Your person has been doing a lot of self-reflection. And through that self-reflection and self-evaluation, they realize that it's time for them to start taking action and work their way back to you. Through this period of separation as well, they've been looking at themselves and really identifying the actions and behaviors that have caused them to act the way they did. And they are working on that. They're doing some inner work. They're trying to heal whatever their trauma is from past relationship stuff or perhaps even before that when they were children. Whatever your person has gone through in their life, they are trying to resolve that through this self-reflection, looking at themselves, doing inner work, digging deep, looking at their shadow self perhaps even. But what's really more important here is they're also able to see themselves now through the reflection that you projected onto them. The reflection of their divine being. The reflection of who they are through this soul connection to you. They're having a greater understanding and awareness of that now. And soon you will hear from this person and they will explain all of this to you. These cards are very interesting. This tells a story. Your person's had a breakthrough. They're gaining spiritual awareness. They realize you have a soul connection with one another now. They are experiencing this empathy that comes as a result of your soul connection. And then this reflection, they can see themselves through your eyes, through the eyes of unconditional love that you have for them. This is your reading for today, guys. We hope this was able to give you some insight into your connection with your person. If you enjoyed your reading today, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and type 1111 to claim this reading. Thank you all so much for watching.